how did my student get a band 8 from band 6 for having 6 coaching sessions? Let's understand the preparation. Just like you, Lovely can speak English. However, there were problems that stopped her from achieving a band 7. Watch this video as you might have the same problems. I will share with you the problems that she had and how I addressed those problems that helped her achieve a band 8. Let's begin. Day 1. Learning the opening part and part 1. Here are the problems and the solutions. First, she couldn't answer spontaneously in some of her answers because she didn't have ideas and that affected her confidence in speaking. The solution? I provided a model answer to her so she could get some ideas from my answer. Second, she didn't vary her sentence construction. Most of her sentences were constructed in a very simple way. The solution? The introduction of complex sentences. We learned how to answer in a more advanced way or we learned how to construct sentences in a more complex way. Day 2. Learning Part 2 or learning how to tell a story. Here are the issues and the solutions. She is able to speak at length. However, she couldn't make use of her two minutes effectively. In other words, she didn't speak for two minutes. Well, that's acceptable in the IELTS speaking test, as long as the monologue is not below one minute. However, in my class, I always encourage my students to speak for two minutes because it's their great opportunity to show their oral communication skills to their examiner. Also, it's a great chance for them to show to their examiner that they can sustain speaking in English on their own for two minutes. So, I really wanted her to speak for two minutes, making sure that she could utilize her oral communication skills more. I also realized that she didn't use enough cohesive features or connectors in her story. Cohesive features or connectors are very important simply because the ideas will be connected seamlessly or smoothly. So, in your story, I really want you to add cohesive features or connectors. You must have enough connectors to connect your ideas smoothly. And the ideas that she had in her story weren't organized because she didn't use any structure. The importance of a structure cannot be underestimated because it helps you organize your ideas. Remember this, all stories out there have a structure. If a story doesn't have any structure, we won't be able to understand what the story is about. If the movie has no structure, then we won't be able to understand what the movie is about. So when you develop a story, you have to add a structure so that the ideas will be organized. Your ideas will not be all over the place. Your story will not be confusing. And more importantly, when you have a structure, you know what to say first, you know what to say next, and you know when to end your story. And the sentence construction in her story was simple. There was little to no variation. So, how could you get a good score in the criterion grammatical range and accuracy if most of her sentences were just too simple? Before we continue, congratulations to Val Janami for getting a band 7. Thank you so much for using my reviewers. If you're interested in my reviewers, please send me an email. I will send you sample reviewers and see for yourself if you need the full version. Also, congratulations to Bess Pila for achieving a band 7. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Well done everyone, I'm so happy that you made it. Congratulations! Day 3. Learning how to answer part 3 questions. 
well, she was able to answer part 3 questions. However, some of her answers in part 3 weren't that logical because she just expressed herself freely. There was no strategy in place. Well, she didn't use any structure in part 3. Well, just like part 2, I always encourage my students to use a certain structure in part 3 so that they will be able to avoid beating around the bush. When they have a structure, they are guided accordingly. Day 4. Learning part 2 and part 3 simultaneously. The application of the things that she learned from our previous sessions. Because she already learned her weaknesses in part 2, she's able to avoid making the same mistakes. Her story became organized, and she became confident in delivering her story, and that helped her speak for two minutes. However, her performance in part 3 wasn't as good as her performance in part 2. The issue of beating around the bush was prominent, and unfortunately, she couldn't answer the follow-up questions in a more sensible way. Normally, the solution to a problem when a student doesn't have any idea on how to answer a particular question in part 3 is basically use ad-libs. Using ad-libs will help a student buy time. He will have time to think of an answer that he would like to share with the examiner. That's what I advised to, and of course, I told her to research different kinds of topics. Because uh, when you have uh, plenty of ideas for different kinds of topics, for sure, you will always have something to say. Day 5. The application of the things that she learned from day 1 to day 4. It was the day before her mock test. I always give a mock test to all of my students after they learned how to answer parts 1, 2, and 3. So day 5 was our assessment before the mock test. Day 6, mock test. I was impressed because she performed well. Those weaknesses that she had in our previous sessions were addressed strategically. And as a result, I gave her a band 7.5 based on the descriptors that are available online. However, her actual IELTS speaking score was better than her mock test. She got an 8. Now, you might wonder, how did she improve her monologue during our mock test when she only studied five sessions or five days before our mock test? Well, a detailed answer to that question can be found in this video. Make sure to watch it. You will learn how to develop a monologue in a more strategic way.